So today I'd like to talk about the um, the interface. Well, not really the interface, but um, a short breakdown of um, what the user experience uh, is going to be like. Let's just jump into it. So here we've got the the yeah, highlighted. Um, with blue um, that would be basically where the the main feed comes in right um, of the stream this would be on a custom domain um, at the moment up here it says cast.culture.art that's just a holding um, domain name it will change uh, so basically yeah, the feed starts from here it is then propagated or spread um, across uh, live um, to various um, live casting, live casting, stream, streaming uh, platforms uh, like Twitch, Periscope, uh, Facebook Live, IG Live, D Live, etc. And the idea here is this is just the um, the footage itself, right? The content. Uh, it hasn't really got much interaction. Yeah, you know, you've got. So, you know, stuff like commenting, which depending on how things goes, that might be um, enabled or disabled. Um, but yeah, the idea is to sort of, you know, have it sort of spread out all, you know, all through and then basically feed it back. Um, as you can see with this uh, blue line that then just sort of loops back around. Um, so that isn't, you know, be pointing people to come basically to the domain name because within the, the within the domain name um context is really sort of um presented right so you've got say whatever's happening uh within this particular segment of the live stream um you've got the contextual app uh well in this case uh say it would be sort of content that is around a, a specific app so you'd have you know the dab um, say around here uh, and then obviously because of this particular context the idea is that there will be some sort of call to action right and these call to actions uh, could vary so you know you can imagine it be say you know subscribe or delegate or vote or buy you know depending on whatever you know the content um, of the uh, of the stream is so down here, I'll just scroll a little bit um, to illustrate a bit, or to show a little bit of um, uh, a bit of a sketch. I'm not sure how much of it is visible. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, a bit of a sketch. So here you've got basically um, what would be the screen, you know, um, with the curved edges around and a nice little shadow uh, beneath. Um, and the idea is that each segment, you know, ahead of time, whether it's a pre-recorded segment. Or a live segment will have an idea of how long it's supposed to be so with that in mind you can actually create these little timelines at the bottom which actually um, are helpful because when you're watching something live you kind of you want to have a sense of how long this is kind of you know this is going to be going for it's just a psychological thing which um, from a user experience standpoint really helps um, yeah so on the on the website uh, you know on the landing domain uh, you'd have the video say up here and then you'd have the call to action down here at the beginning it's just going to be basically subscribe to the the calendar via email um, and yeah so that call to action will be <clears throat> right underneath the um, the, uh, the the video viewer and then down here you'd have basically comments uh, at the moment you can see it says Slido uh, moving forward we'll probably have all the say the comments coming from all the different streams um, in a way that we can be able to um, get them all um, funneled into here I like Slido because it means that you don't have to um, basically create an account you can just sort of you know quickly comment and you know upvote stuff so uh, as a in the meantime uh, sort of quick fix um, that makes sense uh, yeah and that's it